I hope they're what you wanted. Well, I didn't ask many questions. I know. Here we are. You guys have obviously seen the thumbnail, so uh, let's check out what uh, what this latest purchase is. And uh, I know I just put up a video that was like, let's get another project because I don't need one, and I oof, I didn't even have time to relapse. We never we never got sober enough to relapse on this. So here we go. Oh my gosh! Eight bikes. Eight total bikes. So starting off, we have a super sweet Honda CB77. Mostly complete. You know, it's missing some bits. Mostly complete. Okay. CB450 SC that I... How that happens, I don't know. Big old dent in the other side of the tank, but I feel like this one would run with a splash of gas in it. CB450A back there. Another... CB77, a peach of a Bridgestone, another Bridgestone back here, and then two CB750s. So we have one 1973, and then we have this Lester Mag equipped 1970. And it's got some early parts on it, like that master cylinder, course some of the other bits on here but oh my gosh how freaking cool what did I do Okay, well behind me I have a CB77. I figure I put it next to the CB750 so it knows it's in a good home. And then also, so it's the first thing you see when you come in because it's just such a cool looking bike. I have the other one right here. No idea what I'm gonna do with it, but it seems like there's just a reoccurring theme here with pairs. So two CB750s, two CB77s, two Bridgestones, and two CB450 variants. Obviously, I have a few projects, and we don't really need more at this time. So, let's just take a look around. Let's look at all of the other bikes and uh, get an assessment. So, the first one is going to be the other CB450. This one is a six-speed Nighthawk variant. I kind of like these things, to be honest. Let me flip the mic around. I'll tell you about it. So, yeah, I have no idea how that happened. A um, little bit of a rake there, a little hard to turn, but 84 CB450 SC, so this is the Nighthawk. Yeah, it's got a bashed in tank, bashed in bar, so obviously this one went down because of a wreck, but the way it is stored, I have a feeling this thing would damn near fire up with some gas and a battery. So they put some, uh, some plastic bags over the pipes on both sides. And then popping the seat off, they actually have the, the uh, air box covered with a bag as well. So I know the throttle's not stuck. And overall, it looks really clean. So I bet that thing would actually fire up, um, given enough, enough of a chance. But this one, along with the CB450A back there, they're just going to be sold as a pair. 
going on eBay and stuff like that, yeah, I can get like a couple hundred bucks for the carbs, maybe the triple clamps and stuff, or the fuel, like just whatever. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff on here that can, that can bring a little bit of cash, but to me, the space is worth more. So I think we're gonna try to do both bikes up on Marketplace here pretty quick and just move them along. But in case you didn't know, 450 cc's, this one is a six speed manual. And uh, I believe it's a three valve, which is pretty cool. I've seen these bikes do things that uh, they shouldn't do. They're, they're pretty damn awesome in my opinion. I think they're underrated, but yeah, cool little bike. So let me go ahead and put this thing over there where is the only spot it will fit. We'll bring the A over and I'll show you that one. All right, next up is this 83CM450A. So the A for automatic. So if you're unfamiliar with these things, same engine as the 450SC we just saw, but this one is an automatic. It does have a shifter, but basically this is just gonna go from high to low or low to high. It's a little two-speed. And they are not fast, but they're kind of cool, you know? Just the evolution of the CM400A or the CB400A. Little Hawks, those things were cool. So, yeah, this one basically has everything that bike would need to run and go down the road. So this one has a good front caliper on it, dual piston, not bent forks, and other stuff. I mean, you could, well, you couldn't, couldn't use this tank because it's got a friggin' hole in it. But it's a pretty clean little bike otherwise. I mean, turn signals and stuff. None of the stocks are bent. 1990, Michigan. Pretty cool though. I might actually rob that guy off of here because my CX needs that. Yeah. We'll see. But even the handlebars are straight on this one. But again, this one and that one are likely just gonna be sold as a pair. Now moving back up this way, we have our CB750s. So I'm really torn on this one because I would love to get this thing up and going and make another rider out of it, just like Patty over there. I have always wanted a Lester Mag CB750. This one's early too, so it's even cooler. Well, I'd love a factory K tank in green so very tempting to maybe put this one on the back burner and maybe in a couple years i don't know make that into a rider I, it would be fun to rewire it do like modern wiring and a little bit of a resto mod you know i've already got a four and a one for it but i could get something else very very tempting but just a freaking cool bike now there's no kickstart on this one but uh I have a feeling it's probably not locked up, and if it is, who cares? Unfortunately, the top clamp is for a later model, like a 78 or something. It's got the uh, little perch for the choke cable right there. Doesn't have the, you know, kind of unobtainium top triple. This one got some wacky bars on it, kind of cool looking. 73, I have a feeling this one's probably in bad shape. They've uh, at least tried to remove the valve cover on this one. And there is a broken off slash unthreaded intake spigot port, whatever you want to call it. I don't know where that's at. But we have a set of carbs that we could use on that one. So there's that. It seems like every bike I got has a parts bike. The Bridgestone over there, mostly complete. Matching Bridgestone here could be used for parts. I really like this green, but we've got seat, we've got exhaust, complete front end, nice rolling chassis. It even has carburetors here, just missing the engine. And then this one, pretty complete if you ask me. Damn sweet bike. But I know zero things, gotcha about Bridgestone, so these are just gonna get sold. Now, I honestly know almost zero things about CB77s. 
but I do know these are cool. My friend Eric of Motorcycle Rewind, he could spot that one on the trailer when I sent him some photos yesterday of it. And uh, we knew there was at least one, but seeing the second one was awesome. So this seems like a parts bike. The other bike actually has a broken left carburetor. This one has a good left carburetor. So no idea if they're locked up or not. I mean, this one's, this one's admittedly pretty rough, but man, it's still there. It's still a part of history and it's still cool. Look at that patina. It's gorgeous. So to come over here and kind of check this one out, this one seems like it's in pretty darn good shape. Yeah, it's been painted and stuff. I mean, somebody took a rattle can to it in the past. That can come off. I mean, for something that's been around this long, that's to be expected. Seats dry cracked, you know. Very, very cool. Now throughout the day, due to my excitement, I feel like I forgot to actually go over the story of the bikes. So the story that I got is that all of these bikes were in a storage unit belonging to who knows who, and that particular person wanted to actually get out of that storage unit and get into another building and anyway he wanted to just get rid of all of this stuff and it was just going to go to scrap so the person that uh that kind of took on the job ended up getting all of the bikes and then he quickly you know was just wanting to do something with them so he was having a conversation with somebody at like o'reilly auto parts there in uh in the town he used to live in and apparently one of my friends overheard that conversation and said, hey, I know a guy that uh, is interested in old motorcycles. So he jumped into the conversation. Uh, they exchanged some info. My friend then sent me an email and I got in touch with the person that then had possession of the bikes. So none of these things have titles. That is totally okay. I was not expecting anything like that. The guy sent me a few photos of just like the trailer in general with all the bikes on them. He said there was a couple CB750s. I didn't care. I was wanting to save them from scrap. So that's what we did. They're at least in a safe spot now. And I'm mainly just gonna be selling these things off. So uh, I already have the CB450s listed up for sale right now at the time of recording this. We'll move those things along. I'm gonna sell those Bridgestones. The CB77s are going to be a little bit harder to let go of because these are such a cool bike. So maybe I got a friend that's interested in them. Maybe it's something I want to stick on the, on the shelf up there and maybe we'll work on them another day. I don't know. What I do know is that I have too many projects right now and it doesn't make any sense to take any more on. So if I found somebody who is looking to restore a CB77 or who knows what, if somebody who is really into these or needed it as a parts bike, you know, I would rather just go to them and save me some time and let, you know, some other bikes live on and some other people enjoy these things. I don't need to hoard all of these things. So that would be really cool. The CB750s are going to be a little bit harder yet for me to get rid of. That Lester Mag bike, I would love to make a rider, but at the same time, the wheels on that bike can command more than I paid for all of these bikes combined. So little bit tricky there you know I do have to I do have to pay the bills and I do have to make some money somehow and you know selling them off that's gonna be you know part of how I do that all right not even 48 hours later we've got these two girls the CB 450 SC and the automatic in the van and we are uh, moving them along we're getting rid of them so we're not going to come back empty handed though. We got a little trade worked out and I think it's going to be pretty awesome. So wheeling to dealing. All right, just got back to the shop. What do we got? A 
Another old crusty bike. Okay, hmm. Let's see. But this time, a rad Honda CB450 dual overhead cam, brother. Yeah, she's got a dent in the tank. That's not too bad, though. So, this is going to be awesome. This will complete the collection. And, and by complete the collection, I said that accidentally. We know it's not done, so. This will complement the collection and fit amongst it very well. Success. Look at her. She's pretty, isn't she? Lovely shade of brown, along with all the dust. But yeah, 1974, this thing is very, very complete. Just needs the, the regular old stuff to make it run. So we'll toss a seat cover on here, or I might just leave it like this, because we all know how much all the people get pissed off at cracked seats online. You gotta fix the seat before you can make these things run. That's the most important thing. We will be sure to immediately get rid of the Kyriakon grips because uh, you guys know I hate those things. Tank's a little rusty. Got that dent in there as you've seen, but we can save it. So I really, really like these 450s. I've done a custom one in the past and I actually have another one Right back there, that 500 we did the uh, mono shock video on. So this one, we'll just keep it, you know, keep it stock. We don't really have to do anything with it. We have enough projects to, to do, but this one will be a great bike to just have in the fleet, keep it as a runner, and uh, just enjoy it. You know, it's just gonna be a nice bike. So, man, just looking at it, it's very complete. I don't know how old these tires are. date code somewhere. Where's the date code? Well, I don't know. Could always put some more period looking tires on here. Some uh, Shinko 270s would look pretty sweet. Or just some regular old Duros or Dunlops or whatever. But that might be the right thing to do is just put some more period tires on it. Super excited about this bike though. We'll just do the, the basic stuff. Rebuild the brakes. Go through the grips, carburetor rebuild. I mean, at least the throttles aren't stuck at all. It's gonna be so sweet. I can't wait. And if I didn't mention it already, I've got a title with this thing. It's got a key and it's not seized up. So uh, we're, we're miles ahead of where we were. So even though I'm still, I still have too many bikes right now, um, this one is going to be a great one for the fleet. I was actively looking for a CB450 dual overhead cam, so just a cool bike to have around. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more of the kind of like wheeling and dealing, kind of side hustling side of buying and selling bikes, let me know because this is something I've been doing for a long time. I feel like I am a fair negotiator. I can be a little bit aggressive sometimes in trying to work deals. Because, you know, a lot of times I get these bikes and I'm, I'm not willing to pay market at all. I'm going to get them as cheap as possible. Sometimes I've even got bikes for free. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been very fortunate, but I also do my due diligence to try to get the best deal possible. So, anyway, let me know if you guys want to see more of that kind of thing. But... I think this is going to be a great spot to end this video off. We've acquired eight bikes. We subtracted two and we added one back to it. So we're up seven. I currently have those Bridgestones for sale as well as those CB77s. So if you go on my Facebook page, go ahead and check out the albums section on there. Go to the photos, go to albums, and I will have a section of bikes for sale along with an album for every custom bike I've done. I've been meaning to mention this anyway. So go check those albums out. You can see start to finish every bike I've done if you want some more detail. But then if you want to keep up to date with bikes that I have for sale, there is a dedicated album for it. So 
again, those CB77s will be on there and those Bridgestones. And if you don't see them, that means I've already got rid of them because they're on Marketplace right now. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, which one's your favorite of the lot? I guess, I guess that one's my favorite now. So, but anyway, stay tuned for the next video on the channel. It's probably going to be on the CB750 chopper. Um, doing some of the electrical and some other miscellaneous stuff on it because we are this close to making it run. So, yeah, also check out Tangents if you haven't already. I've got videos on the Porsche, Pantera, and another one going up soon on the Cadillac. We've got a situation going on. Anyway, I'm going to end it off here. Hope you guys like this one. Hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.